Can I get my tank through? I can't get my tank through. Oh, hello. Pull lever to receive seed. Okay. So there's one. We actually want to grab another one. So I'm going to leave that there. I'm just going to let that do its thing. We have a tank there. Can I... Yeah, okay. So it looks like it can bring this back with me. And we can go put it in this thing over here. That's cool. Missed. Oh, these seeds are really cute. There we go. Alright, I don't even... Can I... Ah, I can climb it. Yeah, I knew there was an area up here. I just didn't know how to get to it. And now... You. You. You are going to be new, my new plant buddy. I think I'm just going to wander around for a little bit. There's always goodies in all of these places. So he's there. Wow. This area is actually kind of extensive. I was expecting something maybe a little bit uh, more, well, minor, maybe? Yeah, dang it. At least I have, like, no fear of falling damage in this game, which is kind of awesome. Okay, so we got another moon. Yeah, there's that kind of, like, weird walkway. That looks like something I want to go for. I think this kingdom also has a sky area. Yeesh. Okay, we almost have enough for that visor. I don't actually know which is faster. It looks like uh, kind of the slow walk doesn't get me anywhere. But what about this? Keep thinking I hear the jingle of another moon. But I don't see where it could possibly be. God damn, if Mario games look this good now, imagine in like 10 years when they look even better. Cause like, I love the Switch, but it is definitely the least powerful of all the uh all of the modern platforms. Okay. Got it, perfect. And, like, it would be really cool to see, like, the Switch be as good as, like, the PS4 right now. And the amount of, like, cool visual stuff that they could do. There is maybe something over there. I'm gonna get away from, like, the really thin edge, though. Because it makes me uncomfortable. It looks like there might be something up there. Or not. I'm not, I'm not really sure. I can always get back up, though, if I need to. Yeah, I know Nintendo's main focus... Oh. I know Nintendo's main focus is on innovation and gameplay. But, to some degree, uh, it would be nice to to see the, you know, even better graphic fidelity. Breath of the Wild looked amazing. Uh, but there were definitely, like, slowdown points that were maybe a bit on the iffy side of things. And, like... I would love to see... I mean, there's going to be a point where game consoles are probably not going to be as... Can I get up here? Oh, so I can. Andy. I don't know. There's probably going to be a point where, it, as far as graphics go, there's only going to be so much that needs to be rendered. Oh, there's just a hammer bro there. I wonder if I can capture him. Don't know. Oops. Okay, so we get a shortcut, maybe. But yeah, I I know they're they're generally here for gameplay and innovation. Okay, so we need we need the hammer bro to get that that hammer going. But yeah, I think ultimately it's just one of those where gameplay and innovation are very important. You're totally correct about that. But to some degree, uh visual effects do have their place. Okay, so that's a thing over there. How the devil do I get to it? Because I can stretch, but... 
I don't... Whatever that is, that's something I'll have to get get to in a bit. Maybe I can get to it from here. There's another hammer bro there, and this whole area looks like it is impo impassable. There we go. Alright, so now we can jump pretty well. So I'm going to destroy things. Oh, he's a hoppy little sucker. So I don't actually know if this is necessarily the way we want to go, but there's a campfire in here that I want to check. It just gives me a heart. Okay, that's not as cool as I wanted it to be. But that's okay. Alright, I think he'll respawn. I believe it will respawn. If not, I'm gonna have to get back down here and kill him. Then it'll respawn. Because, yeah, my assumption is... I need a hammer bro up here. Nope, didn't really need a hammer bro for this, but I'll take it anyway. Still don't know how to get to the, um... Flies fair oh. What if I need a tank for it? Oh, can I kill one of these guys with a ground pound? I can. That's cool. Though honestly, you're not really supposed to kill kill much. Oh, he just warps out of existence. See, we've got that platform up there. I bet I'm supposed to shoot it down. Maybe. No, I don't actually rightly know how to get to that, then. Unless there's, like, invisible platforms that I can get to. Well. Oh, you know what? We probably get to that through here. Don't we? Mario's climbing animations are kind of stupid. Okay, let's... Because, yeah, maybe you can just see that platform through here. It doesn't look... Oh. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. I, I know what I need to do. I'm just I'm just playing the wrong one. Use the block pl platforms you shot as a tank. Yeah, you might be right about that. Okay, let's grab this guy. Because, yeah, this is how we get the, the wingnut-looking things in here. Yep, there we go. Their sound effects are great. Okay. So, what do we have up, up at the top of this? Because, okay, so we've got another Goomba challenge thing. That's something. We get a flag here. Love me some shortcuts. Why do they look manic? They look concerning. Oh, oh, we can go to space again. I guess let's go to space. There's so much to do. It's actually, I, I'd say it's upsetting. It's not, it's, mm, I don't think upsetting is the, 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 the proper word. It's... Yeah, there's something at the top of that, but... Coins. Yeah, if I fall down that, I probably die. Unless we get something else. I don't know. I just... It's so dense. And it's so... Sh like, everything is kind of almost short. Oh. Oh! Well, I figured out how I can go down this... that tower near the start... without dying. Because as far as I can tell, I can just fly forever here. It's just going to be a giant pain in the butt to see anything. Okay, why was there a ring? 
I I don't know. Yeah, it's overwhelming. I that would probably be the best word I could go with. It's there's so much to see and do. Oh, there's a whole area down here, isn't there? Yep. There's so much to see and do at all times. It's it's hard to just focus on one thing. It it feeds into um to maybe not 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 paying attention, but it, it feeds really really hard into like I'm trying to think of how to describe it. Like with with certain games you can you focus on your objective. You have one objective and you just kind of go around and you do that objective. This is very much not that kind of game. How do I get up? I I guess I have to abandon that one. Turns out they have like a set height limit and they can't go any higher. Okay. That's interesting. Not that I mind too much. Um, but I think for me specifically, it's it. I end up feeling overwhelmed because I liked, like, for Breath of the Wild, it was really fun to like run around and explore. But it was also one of those where it was. Where am I going? I mean, seems like I'm... Okay, back to more or less where I started. I think? Actually kind of hurts to look at. Yeah, okay. So we go up here. I find I take more breaks more often from it. You don't feel momentum. Yeah! Like, I'm trying to think of a good, good game that really felt like I had momentum. Honestly, um... Like, the Metro games felt like they really had... Where the hell is the last one? The problem is I can't see any landmarks, so it's just kind of like... Your guess is as good as mine. So because I got this Goomba up high, it can get a lot higher than than the lower Goombas. That's actually a good, good thing to note. I don't want to fall down too far. Because I think there's kind of a, a white void where we're... In where we'd actually die. Um. Oh, here's the last, here's the last moon, moon chip, whatever you want to call it. There we are. Um, like with Metro, with Metro, uh, 2033, there was a consistent rhythm and things that were, like, constantly, a, uh, there was a, there was a constant amount of things that were happening at all times. But it was all in, like, this linear fashion, and whenever... Whenever one thing would end, something new would start. And you were always kind of on your toes. I think I just need to leave. Yeah, let's just go through this. I think there's only two... I think there's only two moons in each one of those. I could be wrong. Um... But... What's a, what's a good example of another game that has really good momentum comparatively? Because... I think you I think you got in one there. Recharging, recharging, recharging. The momentum is a huge and important thing in in gaming. And I think games are starting to get filled with maybe too much. Doom. Uh no, I would actually disagree. I don't think Doom has good momentum. I think Wolfenstein might have good momentum, but I don't think Doom has good momentum. And that might just be the way I played it, but Doom had enough secrets and interesting collectibles to find that, um... That it felt like the momentum was kind of, um, bad. You know, I always felt specifically inclined... I always felt, felt specifically inclined to... I always felt specifically inclined to, like, go out of my way 
to grab everything if I could. And it actually frustrated me if I couldn't. Will this work? I guess I am tall enough. Boink. <laughs> okay, you got a moon. Uh, hmm. I'm, I'm going to be kind of stuck thinking about this, because I, you know, I played Hob recently, which is a really, really good game. It was an interesting game, certainly. Um, he's scamming more women, I see. I feel so bad, because they're like, you know, clearly in love, and then I, uh... Then I, you know, murder them. Okay. There we go. Yeah, they start walking away from me. Yeah, this is how we get in here. Uh-oh. Oh, wait, no. No, we can go in. I thought it was supposed to be a, uh... I thought I was supposed to be a Goomba to get in there. But yeah, so th that's, how, that's how we get here. Cool. Uh, but Hob was a really, really cool and pretty game with, like, really interesting dungeons and stuff to explore. And they've already respawned. Though not all of them. Only s the single stacks. The guys that were up high, they don't come back. They're dead forever. Or until I reload or something. I don't know. Kind of varies. Oops. Oh, you know what? You know what? Game had a fairly amazing momentum. Sort of. It, it, it kind of came and went. But seeing as we're playing a Mario game... Oh... Old horses. Eh, I could probably just kind of do whatever. Um, Mario and the like the Mario Rabbit crossover game had amazing momentum. It it really felt like um, it really felt like playing it was was you know how do I put it? You couldn't. I couldn't put the controller down. I wanted to keep playing it. And after every level segment, you know, I would obviously be free to go back and revisit things and whatever for challenges and whatnot. Um, but, oh, there's, there's a moon in there. So, well, no, I, I should be able to just drop down onto it now that I'm thinking about it. I'm just going to destroy the crap out of everything here. This might backfire, I'm not sure. Um, but so that's part of the reason why I liked uh, Super... Well, was kind of talking about liking Super Mario Sunshine. There was open exploration, but ultimately it felt like you had one objective. Here, I feel like I have a billion. I was hoping it actually grabbed that. Yeah, whatever. I guess I could actually use, like, my double jump or a couple other things. Oops. No! You fake plumber scientist adventurer, man. You're not even Italian, I think. Ah. Yeah, the problem is it's a... I probably need to kill that tank. It's a... It's not actually a 3D segment. It's confusing. What is, uh... What is Mario's actual... Uh, profession then? Uh, freelancer? Mario is, uh, apparently a celebrity. Mario is the George Clooney of Mushroom Kingdom. Probably. <laughs> Maybe not George Clooney, I don't know. What's this guy say? If that slope is too steep for you, try enhancing your foot speed with the flower. Fair enough. Can I... I wonder if I could destroy these. Like if I could get a tank up here or something. Maybe. Maybe. Let's keep looking around. Let's see, is this your favorite Mario game? If not, what is yours? Interesting question. I would definitely say this is probably um, my favorite just because it it iterates so well compared to all the other ones. I really liked um, I really liked Super Mario Sunshine, but it's aged poorly and the controls were really awkward. Um, I liked Luigi's Mansion a lot, but Luigi's Mansion on the 3DS was amazing, but it was on the 3DS. And on GameCube, I just never really got the chance. Uh, and in fact, I actually never played the original Luigi's Mansion. And I'm gonna call that a Mario game anyway, just because it's a Mario brother. So I assume what I actually want here is to get the full Goomba stack. Uh-oh. 
Now this is a problem, or is it? Yeah, the problem is we need to be the the Goomba Tower to do this. I might be able to get it from here, but I might have to die. I could always travel back, maybe. But I think this is uh I think this is No, nope, it's not too tall for him. Yeah, I don't know. I actually would probably say as far as Mario games, it doesn't really count. But I actually, um, I really like the Mario Rabbids, uh, crossover game. Which is insane, because I absolutely despise the Rabbids as a thing, as everything. I, I think they were such a horror product to work on, uh, from my perspective, because I actually did make a pair of Rabbids games. Really, it was Rabbids crossover content. Oh, 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 that... Oh. See, he does know how to do that hat jump. I don't know if the hat jump's enough for that. Okay, well this gets me back up to full-ish health. <laughs> and they all die. Okay, we've, we've got that over there. I have to watch out for the, uh, the loopy thing. You know what? That's the other thing. I bet I could have actually just jumped across the gap. Couldn't have I. I don't actually have to do the, the Goomba stack if I don't want to. Okay, I'm just gonna grab these and wait, because it kind of got past me a little bit there. I'm just gonna watch it for a bit. There's another moon up there. Ugh, gotta wait a little bit. But that's okay. But yeah, I don't know. I... I really liked the crossover game. It was more puzzle than game in a lot of cases, and I, I found that incredibly compelling. And is probably going to be one of the few games that I'd maybe consider playing again someday, maybe? Probably not, but it is definitely one that I will think about fondly. So this one's stupid easy, I just don't want to get uh, lost here. Oh. I feel like I'm missing something. But no, we already, we already got everything. I guess really it was the Goomba stack thing. Was that a coin just down in the water? Yeah, so, um, this thing actually, this game does, does the thing where, uh, if you die, you, uh, you actually leave your coins behind. In, uh, like where you died. Soulsy style. And so you can get them back. Which is a little weird. I don't know. Well, anyway. Uh, there we go. Yeah, just like Dark Souls. Ah, I hate that. I hate that trend where everybody's just like, it's like Dark Souls. Um, it's just the easiest way I can kind of put it, even though I know it's like ugh, wrong. Due to Mario Souls, like, would be weird and uh, uncomfortable. Bah, who the? Ah. Oh, interesting. If you get multiple flowers, you go longer. Do I like rabbits or minions more? Rabbits, 100%. For starters, they're, they're the original annoying mascot character, uh, so I have to give them some credit. Um, but also, well, no, they're not the original, but they actually preceded minions by 
at least a couple years, from what I remember. Which, I mean... About the- oh. Do we have a shooting gallery? Nope. I really wish there was a different button for shoot than Y. More or less forces you to use motion controls to actually aim, which is not something I want to do. It's like they have never played a shooter before. Because, yeah, you can also aim with the Pro Controller. Oh. I can actually collect the purple coins by shooting them. Ah. Yeah, seriously. Ugh. Aiming with this thing sucks. Luckily, it's not really that complicated, so it's not that big of a deal. This is cool, though. I do like this. I'm not using the Pro... No, I am using the Pro Controller. The Pro Controller has, like, zero sensitivity. Oh, this is a problem. Like, this... It's like lateral aiming is pure garbage. The stick is oversensitive um, for what it's trying to do. I wouldn't mind it, but I have to, I have to aim with the stick first, then I have to switch to Y. Uh, and I'd almost prefer precision. It's it's the worst mix of oversensitive and undersensitive. And I can't deal with it so well. I mean, I can. I'm doing fine, but it is mildly too incredibly awkward to control. Okay, so I, I'm missing something here. There's probably a moon in the very beginning that I missed along the way. Let me see. Well, one way or another. I might as well destroy friend tank that I took over. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely missing a moon. There's always two. It's like a rule. Well, luckily, it's really easy to get back in here. Yeah, it's probably in here. Like this first level, maybe. There it is. Can I just shoot the moon? Oh, makes it spin. Well, that's a nice detail. Yeah, I knew there was something off about it. Elevator blind spot. Hell yeah. All right, let's get out of here, because I already know what I'm doing. Oh, hey, we made it. Sweet. I was not expecting that. Uh, let's see. So, we have one of those hopper plants. I guess I can get that. Um, heck is... I don't know. There's some stuff to get here. And a nose to itch. Okay. Yeah, I like this guy, because he's slow and methodical. I don't like the speed thing so much. Oops. Oop. Okay, so there's... Yeah, there is something in there. I figured as much. I knew there had to be something over here. Actually, speaking of, there's also s some purple coins down there. Well, let's get this first. I'm kind of already committed. And... I'm committed, but... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh. Hey, hey! Well, that's awesome. Okay, how do I get to the next one? We might need the uh, the glider fellow to get in there. Because I definitely can't get to it from this guy. From where this guy is. Whee! Water should play Splatoon at some point. My problem ultimately with the Splatoon is it's a competitive game. I don't really play competitive games. If I could consistently play with my friends, I think I'd be more interested. Oops. But... Splatoon is very much a uh, competitive against ra random other people on the internet, and it's like, eh. It looks like a great game, but it's just not built for me. Now is this? Oh, this is cool. Cool. 
Yeah, Splatoon had... Uh, I don't even know. It's kind of like Project Arms. Both are really solid games that I just have no interest in. Uh, same thing, I guess, with Mario Kart. Like, fantastic games that just don't fit my player profile at all. Could we also have a pole here? Oh. So we do. Okay. Huh. Nope. That didn't work. Okay, so I have to actually point myself in the, uh, the direction I want to go. So there are these platforms here, probably leading me to that nut, but we've already done that. Let's see, where do we mail you amiibos? Well, for starters, I know you won't mail me any, uh, an amiibo, but if you guys do actually want to mail me amiibos, um, I do have a P.O. box that I can give access to. Okay, so let's see. This game is... that would be amazing if I were, and Shell were at multiple... Uh, we're at, like, Bird's Place or something. Oh, absolutely. I would, uh... I would play the shit out of, uh, certain things. Honestly, like, if I'm ever in the same place as, uh, as Keith and Bird for an extended period of time, I'd love to do a series on, um... Oh, right. I'd love to do a series on, like, Dokopan Kingdom. Uh, I'm jumping the gun. I'm, I'm, uh, I'd love to do, like, Dokemon Kingdom and, yeah, No Mercy Mario Party. Might... Yeah, no, I would, I would definitely do No Mercy Mario Party. Oh, right, I have to hold up to go through the pipe. I know what I'm doing wrong here. So this thing's cool. Wait, have I actually been going the right way this entire time? I thought it was going the bizarro side direction. Oh wait, that hurts you. Nope, going to die. Um... Huh. I think I'm... I think I need to shoot this thing. Well, if I go... If I just go back here, we can walk back up or something. When will I play this with Shell? Uh... You mean this game? I... There's a very real possibility I will nev never play, um... Uh, I will never play this game with Shell. Yeah, we gotta shoot the targets with the tank. I gotta go, go, go get my health back, though. It's actually kind of weird how hard it is to get your HP... Uh, back in this game. Luckily, there are a couple of ways. And they give me coins, sort of. 